So there's a hot new supercar on the market right now, and I bet you've never even heard of it. Make sure you stick around, let's talk about it now. Welcome back to the channel everybody, Mark with Exotic Car Play Place, and today I'm so this car is pretty impressive. As a matter of fact, recently it was reviewed as well as featured on a YouTube channel. One of the first YouTubers, Supercar Blondie, took a rip around in this car in Mexico and, and really enjoyed it. And she was quite blown away by a lot of the interesting features. It has a whole lot of nuances and unique little touches that make it special. So firstly, before we even talk about specifications of this doorless, windowless, and roofless car, so the Vool was ultimately masterminded, created, designed, engineered, and constructed in Mexico. Sure, some of the parts come from different parts of Europe, but ultimately, Mexico is where this car originated. It came from two brothers who got together. They were driven by passion, raised by a father who was heavily into cars, and of course, this transferred down into the sons. The sons then utilized their passion to drive and to build something unique, something that would reflect their personalities. These cars are more or less designed somewhere between the BAC Mono and the Caterham. It really ultimately is a doorless, roofless, and glassless car that ultimately is made for the racetrack. Sure, you can rip around on the streets, but try to do that at its natural top speed of about 255 kilometers per hour. What do you think that's gonna to do to your hair? So the Vool isn't exactly new news. It actually featured in the 2013 Goodwood Festival of Speed is where this car was originally seen. And what powers this little monster is a two liter, four cylinder, Ford EcoBoost turbocharged engine that produces about 285 horsepower. Now, because of its naturally lightweight curb, because it uses carbon fiber and a lot of other lightweight materials, this car is supremely light. At about 1,500 pounds, it can go from zero to 60 in 3.4 seconds. It is a rocket off the stop. Now, the beauty with this car is it also has a manual transmission, which ultimately is more or less robbed from the Ford as well. So all this performance puts it somewhere, gives it the real seat of the pants performance feel, something like just shy of a Dodge Viper, which everybody knows is a monstrous in terms of torque and power. This thing feels very, very close to a Viper. So this car borrows a lot of parts. The tub was made in Mexico. The drivetrain obviously being a Ford, it comes from the US and many of the body panels come from Canada. Outside of that, there is lots of parts that come either from Britain or Germany as well. So it does use a lot of European parts as well. So it really is a conglomeration of the best of the best. And because it's a Ford engine, you've got to understand it would be very, very reliable. Now what's pretty neat is because it's a turbocharged engine, in this car, the way they mount it, the turbo actually whistles right next to your ear. So there's a vent right between the seats and as you're throttling, you can actually hear the air pull into the turbos and it whistles right by your ears. It gives you the extra sensation as well. And as I said before, 250 kilometers an hour, it does in fact top out around 150 miles an hour. That makes it a very uncomfortable driving experience I would expect as you get closer to those ridiculous top speeds. So you've got to ask the question, how much does all this fun and frivolity actually cost you? Well, this car costs a base price of about $99,000. What is the name Vool? Where did they get that name from? How did they come about it? Well, Vool actually stands for Vehicle Ultra High Performance and Lightweight. It is really, really true to its name, weighing only 1,500 pounds. Now that first model, the base model, is called the 05 or the 05, and it costs about 100 grand and with the 285 horsepower and two liter engine, as I mentioned already, but there is an upgraded version. It's called the 05RR. And that car costs at a little bit more money. It has a 2.3 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine that produces 385 horsepower and sees further lightning attempts to knock it down to even a lighter weight of 1400 pounds. Makes this car astonishingly fast and it has a better power to weight ratio than a McLaren P1 and a Bugatti Veyron. For those of you out there who want to try something a little bit different, maybe you think Lamborghinis are becoming mainstream and maybe Porsches are cars for everyday use now and Ferraris are quite common. You want something a little bit different and you want something that you can take reliably to the racetrack. Well, guess what? The Vool might have you covered. Now with only about 15 to 20 of these produced every year, the numbers are very limited. So you're not gonna have a lot of opportunities. It's gonna be very difficult to find one. But if you happen to get one, rest assured, you won't have a bigger smile on your face after a session on the track 
with one of these brand new rules. Thanks again, everybody. I'm really glad you stuck around. And remember, life's too short to drive boring cars. Catch you next time. See you guys. Bye-bye.